Hi, I'm Warren Venkates from DailyFX, and for this week's risk event, I'll be focused on US GDP, durable goods orders, core PCE, and Michigan consumer sentiment. And from a Eurozone perspective, German consumer confidence, IFO business climate, and Eurozone PMI data. And that leaves the Euro dollar currency pair as my core market of choice. Beginning with the US, although these are four high impact economic releases, I don't believe that one or a combination of the four can change current market pricing for the upcoming Fed February meeting, which stands in favor of a 25 basis point rate hike. That being said, markets have been very dismissive of Fed speakers and they pushed to stick with a 5% terminal rate in 2023, with a slowdown in certain economic factors starting to grow recessionary fears. From a Euro perspective, German consumer confidence, IFO business climate and EZ PMIs are all expected to improve and could extend hawkish bets, ECB bets that are which were reiterated in their recent monetary policy minutes and by key ECB officials, as well as the ECB's president, Christine Lagarde. Looking at the euro dollar daily chart on screen, the pair has made a sharp move um, to levels last seen in April 2022. But there are signs of fatigue being shown by the RSI oscillator, with the higher highs being printed on the daily chart and corresponding lower highs on the RSI, bearish or negative divergence is being suggested. And that traditionally points to subsequent downside, which could expose a 108 and 107 psychological support handles respectively. However, if Eurozone fundamentals release as expected and Euro dollar breaks above the 109 level, downside could be negated for now, opening up the 109.36 swing high and beyond.